All right, so this talk's actually, it's a lightning talk, and it's about finding your next open source contribution with open source. So I work at GitHub, I'm a Beyonce advocate. That is a thing that I have coined in case Beyonce shows up at GitHub, they know who to, who to call. Um, <laughs> but it's also a real thing because, so I work at GitHub, GitHub has 40 million developers, and a lot of people ask me what a developer advocate is, and I usually say, I'm a developer that sends emails, uh, which is actually really true, I was sending emails. But also, I get to answer this question every day, which is, what would Bay do? Um, Beyonce, she also has this thing called the Beehive, and the Beehive is a very large fan group, and I feel like our 40 million users on the GitHub pl platform are our fans and users. So I get to answer questions, find out edge cases for features that are missing as well. So find me, I'll be in this hoodie, and we have a table downstairs as well. Uh, but really what I do, and what I just explain is I go to bat for the Hive. <laughs> So if you do have a question, I did an actions workshop about automating your workflows on GitHub uh, twice, uh, just an hour ago, as well as yesterday. Uh, so find that content, I've tweeted it out too as well, so feel free to do that self-pace. But a lot of people ask what a developer advocate, which I already answered, so I'll skip that, but it's really about side projects. I tend to always build like example apps all the time, which means I use a, a, all these different types of languages. Uh, the question I can't really answer is like, what's your favorite language? And I, I can't answer it because all languages can be hosted on GitHub, so I have to sort of try a lot of those things, which means I have a lot of side projects. And I mentioned this because my journey to open source is very similar. When I was learning how to code about seven years ago, I did this thing that was a boot camp, but it wasn't called a boot camp then. It was like more of this online platform where someone taught me how to do Ruby on Rails. And from that, I got this like exciting thing to do, which is like this new server type JavaScript technology, which was Node. And I built this project in Node, but I had no idea what I was doing or how to write JavaScript. I just knew like the basics. And I built this project, I found this project that solved most of my problems that was written in Node at the time. It was like 0 0.11. Uh, it was like the time where if you were if you following along at the time, this is when we had the, um, the IO, the second version of Node also shipped at the same time. It was chaos, so it was also confusing. But the cool thing about this is the person who maintained the project I found taught me how to do Node through interactions, through PRs and issues, and sort of this like mentored me into becoming a Node developer, uh, which was super awesome. And I find that GitHub's awesome because it's a place where you can also make friends like that through open source. But the hard part is like trying to figure out how to get started open source. There's a lot of tools out there, but I found like they were all challenging uh, because I didn't know where to get started. Because I'm, I'm flipping around different languages, I did iOS development for a little bit because I thought that was cool. And I had to learn that from the bottom up. So I had to learn from other peers and mentors and find that always starting over because I'm always trying to do new things. But every time I find a project, I just, I, I mentioned this. I already, know, I don't know where to start. And there's this quote from Gucci Mane. Anybody know Gucci Mane? He's a rapper. All right. And uh, yeah, so he, he invented trap music. So the, the Mac, the music that's like, like you can thank him for that. Um, they also call it mumble rap too as well. Uh, but there's this quote that he took, they took from an interview, which is, if you don't got sauce, then you lost. And it's talking about skill and like being a rapper and like how do you find that skill? And I find with open source, it's also the same. Like if you don't know where you're to start or you just didn't like, you weren't just born into some sort of situation that you just had open source like thrown at you, then you just don't know. And as we're in, entering more people into the industry and showing people, like, I think this, it's powerful to show people open source as a way to get free mentorship and support for learning new languages. So I created this product, product, this open source project, basically, it's not a product, uh, to find your next open source contribution. It's still a work in progress. As of today, it actually is broken because I'm the only user. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just have an issue that came up over the weekend that basically, if you aren't me, it's, it's not working. I solved the issue in the comments. I haven't added the good first issue label because I was literally just doing it right there. Uh, but I'll do that. But it looks like this, this is open source. Um, it's like when you start a band, you spend way more time on the logo than the actual <laughs> content. Um, so it's the same thing. I have a cool logo, but it's a very simple app, and you just log in with GitHub. And it's built on the GraphQL API, so if you haven't touched GraphQL, this is a good opportunity for you to get your feet wet with it. I'm more than happy to mentor you. I can do Zoom calls and show you how this works. But also, this is similar. The projects that are on this platform are also similar. There are people who also mentor you for those projects as well. So. Though this is open source built in React and GraphQL, there are also open source projects that I can also introduce you into. And I'm gonna build, there's a feature, there's a whole feature list that I'm gonna be hopefully working out through the end of the year around onboarding open source. Uh, so I'm hoping to get to that. Uh, also wanted to mention the tool OneGraph. But OneGraph is a, a way to interface with GraphQL. Just note that it exists. I'm happy to talk more about that. It's a, another project that's also open source. Uh, then I'm happy, and also, 
the repo is here. It's bdougie slash open source. Please find me at the conference and the issues. Good first issues. There's a lot of things I want to cover, but I can't talk about now. So <laughs> don't get lost. Stay saucy. <laughs>